Delete from array is another lab view node array found under arrays and delete from array. So I just got this basic little array, plug it in. A quick little lab view trick is, so when you wire up this first one, and I don't really want to right click and go to create a control for every single one of these. If we click on this block, if you hold down control and keep holding control and hit space and then let go of space and then hit D and then let go of control, it'll automatically pop up all of the default indicators for um, for the, the node. And this actually, this works in almost all the predetermined lab view nodes. So what the delete from array element does is, I mean, it does exactly what it sounds like. It deletes a element or a subarray from the initial array. So right now I have the length, which I'll talk about in a second, set to zero and an index of three. So if we run this, you can actually see nothing happened because we told our length to be zero. And this is something that its default is a zero. So sometimes if people forget to put this length in there, that's where this runs into problems. So now I'm gonna say the length of two. So now when we run this, we can see our, if we just line these on top of each other, our input and our output are obviously different sizes. And if we look, uh, this is kind of neat where it has the deleted portion. So it'll show us what it took out. So I told it index of three. So if we go zero, one, two, three, so this four, and I told it the length of two, it says, okay, so one, two. It took out the four and the five, and that's our deleted portion. And then its output is our one, two, three, skipped four and five, and then six, seven, eight. Okay, it's very similar with a two-dimensional array. And this time, remember just on some of these on some of these nodes, you can only have one select at a time. So right now I have it indexing per row, but sometimes your needs will be columns, which I'll show here in a third example. And I have my input, my output array, which is right here. And then I have my deleted portion, which is right here. So I'm gonna say row one, so zero one, and I'm gonna say length of two again. So when I run this, it doesn't always make sense right at first, but the length, as we can see here, it actually takes the rows. So when I said I wanted to take row one, it went down to this nine here, but then my length is two. So it's actually chopping out one and then two rows. So if I were to change this to a one, and we run this, notice how it only took out this first row, or sorry, the, the middle row. So our one through seven, uh, it's actually bigger than that. I just didn't draw it. It kept row zero and two, but it got rid of row one. So this is something just to keep in mind to be careful of is this length where it actually is the, the length of the rows. So if I wanted it to be, you know, zero, the zero with row. And here you go, here's our one, two, uh, our one through eight and our nine through 24 got saved as the main output. But if I was to increase this length to two and hit run, and there you go, it took our, started at zero, but took rows, the row it selected at our index and the one right below, because our length is two. Here's a very similar example, just I switched the index for the columns and that performs, I'll just zero these out real quick just to set our output. So you see nothing has changed, zero, zero, our output is the exact same as the top. But if I wanted, let's just say column number this four, so zero, one, two, three, three, and I wanted it to length of just one, we hit run, only our four, 10, and 20 got removed but now, again, if I change the length to, let's just say four, and I hit run, it actually removes four units. So it removes this column four, five, six, and seven. It removed all four of these parts. And then it, down here, it left the eight, 16, 24. So the length, when you're dealing with two-dimensional arrays, and same with three-dimensional, it 
corresponds to the actual number of columns or the rows, not just how many elements down. So just something to keep in mind. Hope this video was helpful and stay tuned for more.